this is Aaron Fisher, Technology Integration Facilitator for the East Bridgewater Public Schools, and this is an overview of Google Profiles. Do you have multiple Google accounts? Of course you do. Which one of us doesn't? If you do, you don't want them to merge. Um, well, at least I don't. I want to keep my work and my home separate. So there's an easy way to do this, and it's uh, easy to mistake it, though, too. So you don't want to go here. It looks like you would, right? You want to add another account, but that's not the best way to do it to keep your accounts fully separate. What you want to do is you want to go up to your profile up in the Chrome web browser. So where I see my little person here, because I'm logged in not just to my email, but I'm logged into my browser, I want to add my profile here. So you'll notice I can click on that little picture. Here's me. Here's my personal account. Here's my son's account that I check periodically. You'll notice it's got an error. And I can add more accounts here as well. What's really nice is it keeps my bookmarks separate. It keeps my extensions separate. Everything is separate. When I want to log out of one of those accounts, very easy to do that too. So let's say I want to get Wesley off my computer. I'm going to go into those three dots, settings, turn off, and I'm going to clear him out. So now he is no longer there. One of the reasons you don't want to add that profile in here is because then if you go to start a new Google Doc, new Google Slides, something, it may pull from your other account and not put it in the right account that you intend because it's really uh, working off both accounts. So best to have multiple accounts up here in your profiles and manage it that way. Thank you.